Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Obviously in the focus at the moment, this coin. Um, in this video, I just wanna focus you on the short term. We dropped out of this ascending, you could call it an ascending wedge, usually a bearish wave pattern, already talked about this pattern in the previous video. I mentioned if we drop out of this box, it will get less likely that um, we get five waves up here still. Um, because there is obviously always the possibility that this is just an overshooting B wave that we came down in A, moved up in B and will get one more low in C. But this is really here lower level um, or lower degree wave pattern stuff. So there are a couple of possibilities how this could play out. Irrespective of that, either way, as long as we hold above this green support area, above 3.41 cents, I would expect still to go higher. Um, this is the relevant support area. If we drop below that, then we are heading into a different wave structure. We then probably will see a one, two setup that this here was a wave one and we're coming down in two instead of having here um, still a wave five to finish, which would then most likely finish the wave one. Um, so yeah, we would then have to say that the wave five top was probably here, but ideally, ideally I would still see, or we would still see here, um, one more high. Now, again, there's just a couple of options. That's just what the market, um, offers at the moment. We, for example, just to make that clear once more, first scenario first scenario, wave four could still be ongoing, wave five is still to finish. What we've seen here was nothing else than an A wave down, a B wave up, and now the C wave down in the um, in the wave four here, A, B, C. Yeah, when do we know that? Well, it's getting much more likely if we drop below the 50% retracement of that move to the upside, I believe I, I told you that before in the previous video, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, this is exactly this level at 4.7 cents. So we've already broken it, but not substantially. So we did not sustain below it. Um, the way this looks at the moment is there's a good chance of breaking it because we broke out of the channel and we've already broken briefly below it. That doesn't seem to be massive support. So. I would see the chance of breaking this further quite high, um, which then means that this move to the upside loses in reliability because this cannot be an impulsive move if we break below the 50% retracement. And then also um, we will probably break into the wave one price range. That's here at 4.5 cents. At the latest there, this move to the upside as it is here is invalidated. It could then still be a diagonal pattern, but diagonal patterns are always unreliable, especially for trading. Um, so yeah, I think we can take that out now, especially for trading. If we have the possibility of a diagonal pattern, which would mean you basically get most likely an overlap between waves one and four, and you could still push higher. Well, <laughs> then you need the five waves up you need, you need to prove, you need the chart to prove that this is an, a diagonal pattern. Um, basically, it can't be an impulse because it cuts into the wave one price range. Diagonal patterns are something to be avoided, in my opinion, um, from a trading point of view. If we see it, yeah, that this could become a diagonal, then this could easily also be a corrective wave ABC. Therefore, when you see a potential diagonal, you need to see the five waves up complete and then an ABC down, and that could provide the next entry point. Until then, this is to be treated as a correction. Um, and that would mean if we break below the 50% retracement and then also cut into the wave one price range, primarily probabilities would say we go down lower and would most likely also take out here this wave too low. Um, but again, as long as we're finding support in here, this can just be an A, B, C structure. I wouldn't get too hung up on the, you know, whatever happens here in the, um, in the short term, 
this is really a lot of that is intraday volatility as well a lot of people want certainty about also the smallest waves where you can't forecast every small wave um, best to understand just the key support levels and to understand that there is obviously a risk now that this is just an ABC we're gonna come down very simply as long as we're holding the 3.41 cent level we can still expect a higher wave in uh, five and if we break below it yeah then this pattern indicates that the high was already in either here or here and if it was here then also we have an a b c and it could be quite a strong c wave that's what we now need to what we then need to establish based on the structure um but yeah again as long as we're holding support higher is possible higher is likely if we get back into this region it might provide another trading opportunity um the closer we get to the low here the better because the stop loss could be set quite tight for a possible long trade and if it breaks it might even provide a short trade opportunity because then the upside basically gets very unlikely um anything else to mention no i think that's it so i think maybe we have uh, a little bit more clarity tomorrow seems like at the moment we see a little bit more corrections across the board here but it has rather been sideways movement today um, what I just see what might also be interesting is that you could see this as some kind of a channel which is currently coming down here or even a small descending wedge so again it still has a chance to hold this 50% retracement that we looked at if it does that and you have here possibly a wedge pattern and it comes to the upside then it might get this fifth wave now what could be a target for the fifth wave if we get a breakout here yeah it's it's nothing i would personally trade like the fifth wave of the fifth um it's sort of you know getting towards the end here probably of that move up before we see a more substantial uh reversal um so i at least i'd be careful on the long side i'd also be careful on the short side so this is just i think waiting now for a stronger retracement to find a better entry point um, because this was one this was one anybody who missed that might just want to wait for the next um, good entry point and again another good entry point might be heading back into the support area yeah, for another long trade uh, just giving you ideas no no financial advice here um, what did I want to do oh yeah target for that uh, wave five to the upside for that we can take the length of the third go to the current low of the fourth and then we've got target between 5.66 cents and 6.94 this is sort of the range where um where it could get into and yeah so i think that's sort of the the, the range you can also use um possibly this third wave here but we don't have a reliable low in place for the fourth but it would provide quite similar targets using this just for the smaller wave five would take us to 5.6 six and 6.3 cents okay that's my update about gala so i think it needs to be we need to wait for a little bit more clarity here uh, there's a few setups here on the, ch on the chart still and other than that uh, yeah hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye